What's up, everyone? Welcome to Marketing by John. Today, we're going to talk about a phenomenon that not many of us use to our advantage. Now, when a new restaurant opens, this is especially for chain restaurants, you'll notice, let's say a Chick-fil-A or an IHOP in the case of here in Syracuse, New York, will open up, right? They'll be building their location. Um, they'll have a sign out front that says future home of an IHOP or something like that. Then the day that it opens, or even sometimes there's like soft opening, you will see cars packed in the parking lot. And I mean packed to the point where you're driving by and you're like, do that many people really, are they really dying for an IHOP or a Chick-fil-A to open? Well, in some cases, yes. In some cases, especially with a Chick-fil-A, they've built up enough brand that people are genuinely are excited for that Chick-fil-A to open. But in the case of an IHOP, they do something so incredibly smart to make sure that they open with a bang and that they get a bunch of sales and a bunch of people into that restaurant immediately upon opening. And what they do is they pack the parking lot filled with cars. Now, where they get those cars, they could be they could be offering things into the community, free meals on the first you know day or free meals on this particular point or 50% off meals. They'll go out into the community and they will offer vouchers and discounts and a variety of other things that will get somebody in to that restaurant so that on the day of opening, people are driving by and they see the parking lot, which is absolutely packed. Subconsciously in our brains, social proof then kicks in, mob mentality kicks in, and we say, well, listen, I don't really love IHOP, but holy f if there's 50 cars in the parking lot every day the week that they open, well, something must be up. I must be missing out. IHOP must be the place to be. They must have delicious pancakes. When I went there five years ago, I didn't love it, but maybe I'll give it a shot again. That's what we think. And so restaurants are super smart chain restaurants, they have this built into their launch plan and their franchise plan to do this to ensure that people who are driving by that location, because location is everything, they know where their location needs to be. They know it needs to be in a high traffic area. It needs to be next to a grocery store, it needs to be next to a target, it needs to be somewhere in those areas to ensure high traffic. Then what they do is they make sure the parking lot is packed so that people who are passing by say, what am I missing out on? I need to go to that IHOP. It just happened here in the Syracuse area. And IHOP during the pandemic, when not many people are in New York, at least, are going out to restaurants or not as many people. Well, IHOP did a great job. They built the, their this restaurant during the pandemic. They started literally at the end of 2020 and they finished it just now at the beginning of 2021. The day they opened parking lot was absolutely packed with with cars. I literally drove by and I was like, huh, I haven't seen any restaurant that packed, let alone an IHOP. And don't get me wrong, IHOP's great. I'm not nothing against IHOP. But at this particular time, in this particular location, I would not have expected an IHOP was packed. But then I did a little thinking and I did a little research and that's what they're doing. They are ensuring that their parking lots are packed so people driving by look and they have the FOMO effect. I need to go to an IHOP. I'm thinking about maybe I should revisit an IHOP because there's so many people there and I must be missing out on something. So what does this mean for everybody else? If you're not a restaurant, it doesn't matter. You need to think of the ways that you can pack your platform. Your platform might be Amazon. So pack it with five-star reviews. Make sure you are entering Amazon's Vine program. Make sure that you are encouraging your customers that you do have contact with to leave reviews on Amazon. Be careful because Amazon crack da cracks down on fake reviews, but find a way to get those reviews. If your website is your platform, make sure you install a platform like Yopto, which is a plugin, Yopto, Y-O-P-T-O, which will automatically send out emails when somebody buys something asking them to leave a review. Pack that platform with virtual cars or reviews. Yelp, Google reviews, TripAdvisor, whatever your platform is, reviews are the best place for you to, the best thing for you to turn into your virtual car, okay? 
That's my tip for today. If you found this podcast helpful or this YouTube show, if you're watching it there, make sure you subscribe or leave me an awesome review on podcasting platforms because that is my virtual car. We need to show people that this uh, this podcast will bring you value. If it did bring you value. If you hated it, leave me a bad review. I need some feedback anyways. But until next time, thanks for watching.